They saw Jesus walk on the cobblestone streets. Uh, amen. Of Jerusalem. They saw him walk on the hillsides uh, in Rocky Mountains of Bethany. Hallelujah. But they had never seen him uh, walk on top of water and defy the very law of gravity. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But it was in a storm that he revealed a walk uh, to them that they had never seen in their life. Uh, at first, they thought he was a ghost. Uh, they called him a phantom. Uh, called him a devil. Be careful what you call not God. Come on, somebody. Because it's in a storm that God will make himself known to you. The Bible said in John chapter 6, verse 19, disciples are right out there in the middle of the lake. Somebody shout right in the middle of a storm. Right in the middle, halfway there, halfway across the lake. And a storm comes down. Somebody shout, it weren't just worked up, it come down. That means it was sifted through the sovereign hands of your Savior. Some Savior, somebody shout, the storm didn't reach me without coming through him. Man, one and three, so the clouds of the dust in his feet. And the Lord will have his way in the whirlwind and in the storm. I dare you to give your neighbor a high five and say, God's going to have his way in this storm. Amen. Have a look at your neighbor say, I got flood insurance. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise the Lord God. And this is what he said. He said that they were in the middle of this lake, right in the middle of a storm. A storm had come down upon them. And the Bible said they were rolling. Look at your neighbor. Said they were rolling. Look at your neighbor. Say when you're in the middle of a storm and you don't know what to do, tell them, say, roll, roll, roll your boat. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. Say, roll, 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 roll. Hallelujah. When you don't know what to do in a storm, pray, pray, pray. When you're in the middle of a storm and it looks like your ministry is about to be destroyed, praise, praise, praise. Come on, somebody. Amen. When the devil says, shut the door of the church, it's got too hard. Somebody open it and say, let's have church, let's have church, let's have church. Somebody shout, row, row, row your boat. Hallelujah. They rowed. And while they were rowing, they saw Jesus come walking on top of the water. Not on calm waters. On stormy sea waves. He went surfing. He was walking on them, fulfilling yeah. Psalms 89 and 9, where it said he treads the waves of the sea. Yeah. And the waves therefore rise. He steals them. They saw him walking on top of the storm. On the waters. And he stepped up in their boat. In verse 21 of John 6, it said immediately they were at the other side where they went. They were freaking out instead of faith enough they were in shallow waters. They were already on the other side. When the storm got the worst, it was when they were almost at the end of their journey. Somebody shout the storm will get the worst. Right before you step out into destiny. Right before you step out on the other side into what it is uh, that God was using the storm to get you there. You know, it took them hours longer. Maybe it took them a day longer to get to the other side uh, if the storm hadn't came. But the storm came uh, and, and actually sped up the process. Uh, took time out the equation. Uh, hallelujah. Time collapsed. Uh, God took hours out uh, of the journey. Somebody shot with a storm. Uh, look at your neighbors and let the force be with you. My God, let whatever it is that's forcing you to your knees. You ought to look at it as a gift. You ought to call your pain. Amen. A prize. You ought to call your gift. Amen. The pain. Anybody hear the Holy Ghost? Because the very thing that's pressuring you, the very thing that's making you feel, amen, crushed, that's mowing you down, that's taking you down, is really what's lifting you up. Yeah. 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 